Yay, ladies and gentlemen, it's your man, Deshaun Shooktime Watkins, and welcome to The Art of Storytelling. And today, 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 we have a special guest with you, my grandmother, Charlotte C.C. Watkins. Yeah, no. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well, pretty well. I hear you have an immaculate story for us. Well, I don't know about all of that. It's like, well, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about I don't know if anybody knows about these old China Chan, Charlie Chang um, uh, detective movies. And he would always call his uh, number one son. Number one that son. That number one son was because he was the oldest son. But I think Charlie Chan kind of took a favor to that number one son. So I'm sitting here right now with my number one grandson, <laughs> Deshaun Showtime Watkins. <laughs> I'm not sure what you want me to do over here, um, cause a lot of times they used to call me what a special that I was special, <laughs> and and uh, but they didn't mean special in the I don't know the kind of good way. They be special in the little red, do that little that little uh, yellow bus special yeah. with the helmet with the helmet. Uh -huh. That's the special they used yeah. to tell me I was. Well, Mama, they might still say that. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, I was thinking about these stories. Sometimes when I didn't remember everything, I could always call Sharon. Sharon had a great memory, you know. I said, Sharon, you know, what happened? And she'll say, no, it was like this, and that, da, da, da. But of course, Sharon left me. She's not there. My mom, I could always ask her, but of course, she left. So now my go-to people, I could even call Glenda, and she would say, well, she gone too. So now it's kind of on me. Now the oldest ones left now is Ruth, and then out the Ruth is me. Mm. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna start off with my granny. Her name was uh, Orly Tillman, but we call her Mama Ora. And so my mom had moved here, and she sent for Mama Ori to come out here, and they came. When Mama Ori came. It was um, Ring is my auntie. And she's six months older than I am. My grandmother would always tell it. Did I tell you that story? Mm -mm, but she can tell it now. <laughs> My grandmother would always tell that story about she had ring. No, ain't baby sister had Jeanette. See, I'm telling you, my memory's crazy. Ain't baby sister had Jeanette. My Maury had ring, and my mama had me. Okay, so Mama Ori would keep us all, and she would nurse us all off of her milk. And so Mama Ori would always say, say I was the more aggressive one, and that she would be nursing, and I would push the other two away, and I would always get the bunk of the milk, and I was, as, as a result, I was the biggest one. And so, um, anyway, I'm getting back to Reen. Reen. Reen is six months older than me. Okay, it was Reen Jeanette and me. So Reen is six months older than me. And and um when my Maury came out here. So they stayed they stayed at, at, at uh, my mom's house for a while and then there was a house in the back and she Reen and my Maury stayed there. And then Mama Ori moved to the Imperial Courts. They was building the Imperial Courts. And uh I think my grandmother was about maybe the third person to move into the Imperial Court. They was brand new. What year was it? Oh, it was, whew, my goodness. I am I was born in 46, so I might have been around um, 8 or 10 to 46. 56? Uh, yeah, around up in okay. there. And so, anyway, um, my grandmother moved in. And then a dude, which is my Maori's sister, her name was Alice Gray. But we called her Ain't Dude. And I don't know where all these nicknames came from. I have no idea. I never asked. Anyway, Ain't Dude came. And when Ain't Dude came, she came with three children. She had Ruth Evans, um, Glenda, Glenda, and Dorothy Jean. Dot was the, was the uh, baby. And so um, when I first saw Dot, she was... She was like nobody I ever met before. Dajean had on some shorts. She was a big girl and she had on shorts and she was free, just always free, speaking to everybody. My mom had told me, you walk down the street, you don't speak to no strangers. But Dajean would walk down the street, she'd speak to everybody. And I'm thinking, you're not supposed to do that. She said, why not? I said, because you don't speak to people. She said, yes, you do. 
But anyway, that Jean was my mother's first cousin. But a dude had been married for like 20 some years before she even got pregnant. And so Dorothy Jean and Ruth and all of them, they were around our age, although he was like second cousin, but we just, we just grew up as cousins. So her mama already moved into the projects and dude moved into the projects too. And they stayed a door up, apart from each other. So as a result, every weekend I would go over to Mom Maury's house. So we all just kind of grew up together. But as we grew and then my, my, at, when my grandmother left the, um, we, we, my mother and my grandmother finally got a home uh, that they rented on 114th. And it's at 114th between Wilmington and Compton Avenue. And Dorothy Jean now was still staying over there in the project. So we were teenagers, and let me tell you, so Dot Jean is not here anymore. Sharon is not here anymore. But what we would do, we would buy like Coke. And then- Like you, cocaine? No, not cocaine, so Coca-Cola. Oh, you gotta be clear, you know, Coke mean different things to different people. <laughs> no, Coca-Cola. Oh, okay, okay, Coca-Cola. And then we would get somebody to buy some rum. Oh, okay. And okay. so we would take the, we, but they had the, in the big bottles, you know, so we would take the, the Coca-Cola and pour half of it out, then put the rum in it. Mm. So we could be walking down the streets drinking rum and Coke out of the Coca-Cola <laughs> <laughs> bottle. And, and, you know, that was the biggest thing we did. We just drunk out and, and we would leave from 114th, go across the tracks to the projects. You know, we, we didn't really do a lot of, I guess that was the worst thing that, that, you know, that we did. And Dorothy Jean and Cheryl, we was like, you know, good girls, I guess that's what you would call, until we all got to having babies. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, what, like, okay, so when y'all when was coming up, what was that time like? Like, was it like, was it the Black Panthers out? Like, what did it look like? Well, you know what? In, in the projects, they had like a like, like this like lot. Like in Watts, right? Yeah, in Watts. We were in Watts and the Imperial Courts, and they had like this lot. We would go play on the grass, you know, like uh, uh, baseball and stuff. But for some reason, they didn't want us to play, play on the grass back then. And so we would get in trouble playing on the grass. I think Dajean was the first, Dajean got pregnant with Phil. And, and Phil, I don't know, Dr. Jean, she, uh, uh, Phil would sneak over and, and then Phil would, you know, it, 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 it was on the, uh, the second floor and Phil would jump out the window <laughs> before he dude would come into the bedroom and me jump out the window and be running down the street. Anyway, well, Dr. Dr. Jean got pregnant, not Phil, not Phil but Phil dad. Now, mm -hmm. Jean got pregnant with Phil, and, uh, and and that was really something. Boy, and dude, and, and, and dude would be born to run out the, out the, I forget what Phil Dad's name was, you know. But uh, anyway, he was in love. Him and Dot Jean was so in love, he came back. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that about that. And, I, and one little story I remember about Ruth. Ruth was always the sweetest person in yeah. the world. I mean, she would do anything for you. And everybody, I mean, everybody loved Ruth. And some one day somebody came into the house, stole Ruth's wallet, and was still in the projects. And they stole Ruth's wallet. And somehow they just took the pictures out, I guess looking for money. And then Ruth was uh, crying. I remember she was just crying. Every time she saw a picture on the ground, she would just cry louder, like, oh! Like, you know, just really crying. And I felt, it was like, I felt so angry and so upset. I said, because who would take anything from Ruth? Ruth would give you any, I mean, if she had, she had a dollar in her hand, she was finna use, she would give it to you. And I said, yeah. who would take anything from Ruth? And I said, we never found out, you know, who took her wallet. But I remember that, I mean, we come, we walk a little bit and we see a picture and she just, you know, and... And sometimes you can't forget those feelings right. that you had. So when you relate with the incidents, the, the feelings come back. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of miss Ruth now because, 
you know, she's going through this Alzheimer's thing. And she was like the last one to really talk to. But now you don't have people that have your memories with you. Yeah, that's, I know that can be kind of um, traumatizing because they're there, but they're not there. Right. Yeah. Like, how is it like, you know, you being like, out of that group, none of them are here no more, huh? No, just me so, and Ruth. All right, one question is, I know you said all y'all mama or a nurse thought, oh, because she had ring. Yeah, so that made so her she had milk. milk. <laughs> okay, because I was like, what? Well, yeah, yeah, okay. she had, yeah, she had ring, so she had milk. And then baby sister, you know, I... Uh, you know, you know how people had a cleaners. They they had they, they had a cleaners in Mississippi, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they were pretty well established. My mom used to say that the school would borrow their um, little rec radio record to when they had school dances because mm. they because they had um, a juke. What is it? A juke? No, you know that 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 which you could play records on. Oh. Yeah, so. So the school would borrow it from 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 my Maury now because they had one. It was I guess it was the only one in in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. That's what we came from. Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Yeah. So. So what you mean? No, I mean that that's pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in for the first half and and probably for the rest of this week we're gonna have uh, more stories for you. So tune in and anything you wanna say now. I'm trying to remember y'all. Y'all better pray that I can get these memories together. <laughs> <laughs> so also, oh, can, oh, can, I, can I tell you about my first babies? Go ahead. Okay, my first babies. Okay, now I was the. Uh, Hold on. It's not even recording no more. When did it stop? I have no idea, but we're gonna just start this one, and you can just start off on my first babies.